Ladies and gentlemen, today we will know about what will happen if we keep praying. I know sometimes it is hard to keep praying without any result, but today I will change your mind about doubting. I am also pray a powerful prayer in the last, so stay connected and watch until the end. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you today to share the profound impact that consistent and heartfelt prayer can have on our lives. In the book of Matthew 7, 7, Jesus instructs us, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. This powerful verse reminds us that through prayer, we open a direct line of communication with our Creator. When we keep praying regularly, we are engaging in a dialogue with God, building a relationship rooted in faith and trust. The Bible assures us in Philippians 4, 6, 7, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, Present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Through prayer, we find solace and peace in the midst of life's challenges. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 18, the Apostle Paul encourages us to rejoice always, pray continually, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Prayer becomes a constant conversation, a lifeline that aligns our hearts with God's purpose for our lives. Consider the words of James 5.16. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Through consistent prayer, we not only seek God's guidance, but also experience healing and restoration, both spiritually and emotionally. Let us be inspired by the promise found in Jeremiah 29, 12. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Our prayers do not fall on deaf ears. God listens, and His responses unfold according to His divine plan. Let us embrace the transformative power of persistent prayer. As we align our hearts with God's will, we witness His answers manifest in our lives. May the words of 1 Thessalonians 5.17 resonate within us, urging us to pray continually as we walk this journey of faith. Remember, through prayer we invite God to intervene, guide us, and shower us with His boundless love and grace. Keep praying, for in prayer we discover the strength to face any challenge, the wisdom to navigate life's complexities, and the assurance that God is ever-present, ready to answer our heartfelt prayers. Let us reflect on the words of Jesus in Mark 11:24. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. This verse emphasizes the importance of unwavering faith. When we pray with belief and trust in God's power, we open ourselves to His miraculous work in our lives. In times of uncertainty, the Bible assures us in Psalm 145, 18, The Lord is near to all who call on Him, to all who call on Him in truth. As we persist in prayer, we draw near to God, experiencing His closeness and finding comfort in His abiding presence. Consider the words of 1 John 5:14, 15, this is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we asked of Him. Our prayers are most effective when aligned with God's will. Through consistent prayer, we discern His purpose 
and align our desires with His divine plan. The act of prayer is not merely a request for personal gain, but an opportunity to surrender our will to God's sovereign authority. In the Lord's Prayer, Jesus teaches us to say, Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven, Matthew 6.10. Through regular prayer, we cultivate a heart that seeks God's will above all else, inviting His kingdom to reign in our lives. Let us find inspiration in the perseverance of the widow in Luke 18, 1, 8, who persisted in seeking justice from an unjust judge. Jesus concludes this parable with the assurance that God, who is just and loving, will not delay in answering the prayers of His chosen ones. As we delve deeper into the significance of persistent prayer, let us reflect on the words of Paul in Ephesians 6.18 and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Here, we are reminded to pray not only for ourselves but to intercede on behalf of others, fostering a community of believers bound together in love and support. The Bible also teaches us in 1 Timothy 2, 1, 2, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Through our prayers, we participate in shaping the world around us, seeking God's guidance for leaders and desiring peace and righteousness for all. In times of trials, let us draw strength from the assurance found in Romans 8.26. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. Our prayers are not confined by our limitations. The Holy Spirit assists us translating the deepest groanings of our hearts into communion with the Father. Consider the encouragement in Hebrews 4.16. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Prayer opens the door to God's abundant grace, providing strength, mercy, and assistance precisely when we need it most. In the tapestry of our lives, prayer is the golden thread that weaves through every season. It is through prayer that we declare our dependence on God, acknowledging His sovereignty and recognizing that apart from Him, we can do nothing, John 15, 5. As we conclude, remember the words of 1 Thessalonians 5:16. 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Through a life of continual prayer, we find joy, gratitude, and a deepening connection with our Heavenly Father. Let our hearts be steadfast and our prayers be fervent, for in keeping the flame of prayer alive, we experience the transformative power of God's love in every aspect of our lives. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we journey further in our exploration of the profound impact of prayer, let us meditate on the words of Jesus in John 15, 7. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This verse emphasizes the intimate connection between abiding in Christ and the effectiveness of our prayers. When we align our hearts with His teachings, our requests are in harmony with His divine purpose. In times of doubt, recall the promise in Matthew 18:20, For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. 
Our collective prayers offered in unity carry a unique potency. Let us come together, lifting each other in prayer, and witness the presence and power of God in our midst. Reflect on the perseverance exemplified by Daniel in Daniel 10:12, 13. Do not be afraid, Daniel, since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come in response to them. But the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me twenty-one days. Even when faced with spiritual opposition, Daniel's persistence in prayer led to the manifestation of God's response. Similarly, our unwavering commitment to prayer can break through any resistance we encounter. Let us draw inspiration from the words of James 5.16. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. As we strive for righteousness through faith in Christ, our prayers become a mighty force for change, bringing about God's purposes in our lives and the lives of those around us. In closing, let our hearts be stirred by the encouragement found in 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Our labor in prayer is not in vain. It is a labor of love that yields eternal rewards. As we press on in our exploration of the profound impact of prayer, let us reflect on the wisdom imparted to us in Philippians 4.13. I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. In our moments of weakness, prayer becomes a source of divine strength, enabling us to navigate challenges with resilience and courage. Consider the model of Jesus Himself, who withdrew to pray in solitude, seeking communion with the Father. In Mark 1.35 it says, Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where He prayed. If the Son of God found solace and guidance in prayer, how much more do we need to cultivate this discipline in our lives? The Apostle Paul in Colossians 4, 2, urges us to devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Prayer is not just a petition. It is a posture of devotion, an attentiveness to the divine, and an expression of gratitude for God's faithfulness. In moments of uncertainty, let Psalm 34, 4, be our anchor. I sought the Lord, and He answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Through prayer, we find refuge in God's presence, and He delivers us from the fears that threaten to overwhelm us. Reflect on the promise of Isaiah 65, 24. Before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear. Our God is not distant. He anticipates our needs and responds even before we utter our prayers. What a gracious and attentive Father we have. In conclusion, let us be inspired by the words of 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. Prayer is the act of casting our cares upon the One who cares for us deeply. It is an act of surrender, trust, and acknowledgement that we are not alone in our journey. May our commitment to prayer be unwavering, and may we, as a community of believers, continue to experience the transformative power of prayer in our lives. Let our hearts be tuned to the frequency of heaven, and may our prayers resonate with the will of God, bringing about His kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now, this is the time for powerful prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, acknowledging your sovereignty and grace. 
We thank you for the gift of prayer, the sacred communion that allows us to draw near to your presence. Lord, we lift our voices in gratitude for your boundless love and the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ, who made a way for us to approach you with confidence. May our prayers be a sweet fragrance before your throne. As we bow before you, we confess our shortcomings and sins, seeking your forgiveness and cleansing. Create in us a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within us as we strive to walk in your ways. Grant us the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow it. May our desires align with your purposes, and may our lives be a reflection of your light in this world. We intercede for those in need, lifting up the brokenhearted, the oppressed, and the suffering. Pour out your comfort, healing, and provision upon them. May our prayers be instruments of your mercy and compassion. Lord, in times of joy, may our gratitude overflow, and may we remember to give thanks for every good and perfect gift that comes from you. Help us to cultivate a spirit of contentment and generosity. We entrust our plans, hopes, and dreams into your hands, knowing that your ways are higher than ours. Guide our steps, O Lord, and lead us along the path of righteousness for your name's sake. As we close this prayer, we join our hearts in unity, declaring, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. May the peace that surpasses all understanding guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. In his holy name, we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we continue in prayer, recognizing that you are the source of all strength and comfort. In moments of uncertainty, help us to lean on your promises, knowing that your plans for us are good, to give us a future and a hope Lord, we lift up our families and loved ones before you. May your love bind us together, and may our homes be places of peace, grace, and encouragement. Strengthen the bonds of love between spouses, parents, and children, creating a foundation built on your word. We bring before you our communities, our nations, and the world at large. In the face of challenges, grant wisdom to our leaders, compassion to our neighbors, and unity to all peoples. Let justice flow like rivers and righteousness like a never-failing stream. Lord Jesus, you are the healer of brokenness and the binder of wounds. We lift up those who are suffering physically, emotionally, or spiritually. Bring forth your healing touch and provide the comfort that only you can give. May our lives be a testimony to your grace and restoration. In times of temptation, grant us the strength to resist and the wisdom to turn to you. Let your word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, guiding us away from the snares of the enemy. Lord. We thank you for the body of believers, our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. May we encourage one another, bear each other's burdens, and be a shining light in a world that needs your love. As we conclude this prayer, we surrender our lives into your hands, trusting in your faithfulness. May our thoughts, words, and actions bring glory to your name. In Jesus' precious and powerful name, we pray, amen. Heavenly Father, we approach your throne of grace with hearts full of gratitude. Your love is steadfast. Your mercies are new every morning, 
and your faithfulness reaches to the skies. In the midst of our journey, we find assurance in your unchanging character. Lord, grant us the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Mold us into vessels that reflect your likeness, shining your light in a world that longs for hope and truth. We lift up those who are wandering without knowing you, those who are lost in the darkness. Open their eyes to the beauty of your salvation, and may our lives be a testimony that draws others into the embrace of your grace. Father, we remember those who are persecuted for their faith. Strengthen them in their trials, and may their steadfastness inspire us to stand firm in our convictions. Let us never take for granted the freedom to worship and proclaim your name. In moments of discouragement, remind us of your promises. You are our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Though the mountains may tremble and the earth give way, we will not fear, for you are with us. Lord, guide us in stewarding the resources and talents you've entrusted to us. May we be faithful stewards, using our time, gifts, and finances to advance your kingdom and bring glory to your name. As we go about our daily lives, help us to be attentive to the promptings of your Spirit. May we be quick to show kindness, extend grace, and share the love of Christ with those we encounter. We commit the future into your hands, trusting that your plans are perfect. Help us to walk by faith and not by sight, knowing that you are working all things together for good for those who love you. In Jesus' name, we pray, acknowledging that all honor and glory belong to you now and forever. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts filled with awe and reverence, acknowledging that you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. In our prayers, we surrender our dreams, ambitions, and the very fabric of our lives into your capable hands. Lord, in a world often marked by division and strife, help us to be instruments of reconciliation, May the love of Christ that dwells within us be a unifying force, breaking down walls of hostility and building bridges of understanding. We pray for the broken places in our world, those affected by poverty, injustice, and violence. May your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Empower us to be agents of change, bringing about transformation and healing in the lives of those who suffer. Grant us discernment and wisdom in navigating the complexities of our daily lives. As we face decisions, big and small, may the Holy Spirit guide our steps and align our choices with your perfect will. Lord, we bring before you those who are facing trials and tribulations, those carrying burdens too heavy to bear alone. Let them feel the comforting embrace of your love and the strength that comes from knowing you are with them in every circumstance. We lift up the leaders of our churches and ministries. Grant them wisdom, humility, and a deep reliance on your spirit as they shepherd your flock. May the body of Christ be a beacon of light in a world that desperately needs the hope found in Jesus. As we seek to fulfill the Great Commission, give us a heart for the lost. Make us bold witnesses of your love, sharing the gospel with courage and compassion. Open doors for the message of salvation to reach those who have yet to hear. Lord. We thank you for the privilege of prayer and the assurance that you hear our petitions. May our lives be a living testament to the power of a relationship with you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Gracious Father, as we continue in prayer, we express gratitude for the gift of community. 
May the bonds among believers grow stronger, fostering a spirit of love, encouragement, and accountability. Help us to bear one another's burdens and rejoice in each other's victories, creating a reflection of the unity within the Godhead. Lord, we lift up those who are facing challenges in their faith journey, strengthen their resolve, fortify their trust in you, and may they find renewed inspiration in the testimonies of your faithfulness throughout Scripture. In times of abundance, guard our hearts against pride and selfishness. Teach us to be generous stewards of the resources with which you've blessed us, recognizing that all we have is ultimately yours. For those in seasons of waiting and uncertainty, grant patience and a steadfast hope. May they find solace in the truth that your timing is perfect and your plans for them are filled with hope and purpose. Lord Jesus, be a light in the lives of those grappling with darkness, doubt, or despair. Illuminate their paths and reveal the depth of your love, which surpasses all understanding. We intercede for our world, torn by strife and in need of your peace. Guide those in positions of influence that they may pursue justice, mercy, and righteousness. Let the principles of your kingdom permeate every corner of society. As we approach your word, may it be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Illuminate the truths within its pages, deepening our understanding and empowering us to live according to your divine principles. Father, we bring our personal desires and dreams before you. Align our ambitions with your will and grant us the courage to pursue paths that honor and glorify you. In closing, we echo the words of the psalmist in Psalm 1914. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. May our lives be a continuous offering, reflecting your grace and bringing glory to your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Please leave your prayer request in comment so we can pray for him. And don't forget to subscribe this channel and share video to your friends and family.